because as we move on, we're doing yeah. this in chronological order. This was on Saturday. And as expected, yeah. Man City win the game 5-1. Fast forward, Sunday. Mm. Sunday, first game, 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern time, Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Me and you in the studio, yeah. we're saying things like, you know, at this point in the season, mm. Anfield, yeah. Jurgen Klopp, they played the Europa, bit of a bit of a bad game, mm. but they've got to be absolutely fired up for this game. And it, and it, and it was a shocker. And, and, and the results... You know, like I said at the start there, maybe the most shocking Sunday we've we've ever had. They lose the game 1-0. Iberra Chayese scored in the 14th minute, Rob. Yeah. Um, we expected the huff and puff from Liverpool, mm. which we which we got to some extent. The chances missed were the story, I think, on this. And Jurgen Klopp afterwards said, yeah. you know, I, it, we, like, I think you said it, Rob, early on. I think the second chance, that, that, that maybe a and save, it, and you yeah. said, is it going to be one well, of those yeah. days for Liverpool? Mm -hmm. Well, it was one of those days yeah. where Klopp's looking at it, and there's, I mean, I wrote down four chances in the second half that were within seven yards yeah, which that, that should have... You can't really legislate for. A couple of things on that, and, and I know we, 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 we the focus is seeing. I've got to go to Palace oh, first. I've got to go yeah. to Oliver Glasner. Don't mind I've that. got to go to his setup. He's 3-4-3. Oh. Three, three. I've got to go to his... Positional play of Eze and Elise that challenged Liverpool in a full-back and midfield Kept them area. narrow, kept the back kept four narrow, really narrow. And then had Munoz and Mitchell in the wide areas. There's always an outlet. Whose team was set up, had Jefferson Lerma, my friend. <laughs> Jefferson Lerma, the midfield player, yeah, who alive. He's, he's over 30 now. He playing his left side centre-back centre of three with yeah. Anderson and Klein. Nathaniel Klein, Klein uh, another centre-back, right who's side a full-back. Centre back. Mm. Um, and it was a brilliantly well set up, well planned, orchestrated performance where Palace, listen, could have lost 6 1 and could have won 2 0. Yeah. A couple of good chances. Yeah, just to follow that up, Rob, and we were yeah. going to do a little, um, a little analysis on, on, on that and yeah. the left side. First half, uh, Palace mm. was so good with Eze taking yeah, I did up a little breakdown on, on the uh, our tactic session. Oh, did you? Left -hand did side, you? Yeah. yeah, if you look at that on, our, on the mm. NBC Sports YouTube channel, then the, the tactics session, because Mitchell had so much space over mm. there and he got so many crosses in. The goal comes from lovely football. Yeah. I was just, I mean, and I did a little breakdown in the lineup drop about Palace and yeah, how they're I mean, now under Glasner. They're, they're a different team, and this mm. shows the power of a coach and the yeah. difference a, a coach can make in terms of being on the front foot. I mean, I don't want to use too many buzzwords, but the, the medium block yeah. or, or a high, high press is what mm. they do. And again, we saw against Man City, they lost the game, but they had some good opportunities. And it made it very difficult, Rob, for, for Liverpool to play through that press. Yeah. And the football that they played, the front foot nature, and the fact that the front three was Michael Elise, Abrocheza, and Jean-Philippe Mateta is the front three that the Palace fans have waited so long to see yeah. with Oliver Glasner as coach with a 3-4-3. Three, three. There's your front three. And they delivered on everything that you would expect at Anfield, yeah. and we both played at Anfield, yeah. Rob, and I, had no, I got nothing from Anfield. Maybe some draws, I think. I might, we maybe got something in the League Cup, but it's such a difficult mm. place to go and be that brave on the front foot. I mean, yeah, we'll get to Liverpool, yeah. but rightly so. I thought Crystal Palace were so, so good, impressive, and the new guy, it, it looks like... And I'm, I'm saying this, by the way, on two wins. I think they've only had two wins yeah, since Yeah, this is only second win. But yeah, he's, I, he's I'm won. saying it right yeah. now, they got yeah. a good one. Yeah. They've got a good in yeah, Oliver Glasgow. It's a little time. It's a different system. Yeah. different way of playing. Yeah. Um, should I just get my underappreciated performer? As we're on, as as we're on we, Palace. As we're on Palace. Are you going to do a Palace? It, it was a Palace player. And, and it's my friend Jefferson Lerner. It's Jefferson Lerner, Rob, who played centre, left side, centre back. And I, yeah. before the game, said to yeah. Ahmed, this yeah. is an area to look at. Yeah. Lerma v Salah down that side yeah. of the pitch. When Salah gets past Mitchell. When Salah gets yeah. past Mitchell, we got problems. Mm. We didn't have problems, actually. Jefferson Lerma was, was incredible, incredible for, for um, Crystal Palace in his defending, in his positional play, in, he, in his drive, and, 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 you know, Salah didn't have, have, have a great game. So, all-round underappreciated team of the week would be Crystal Palace, individual performance of the week, underappreciated performance yeah. of the week, Jefferson Lerma. Amazing. And I, and I just want to, before we move on to Liverpool a little bit more, Joachim Anderson, a centre-back, mm. I mm. thought was outstanding. Mm. Nathaniel Klein as well. Yeah. And Tyrick Mitchell. Mm. Tyrick Mitchell, Rob, he's 24 years of age, a left-sided player, under the radar. Um, I thought he was excellent as well. The whole back five, yeah. when yeah. they had to get into a yeah. five, they did, were brilliant, brilliant against the front line that we've enjoyed so much at Liverpool. Unfortunately um, for Palace, mm. great win, great three points. Um, I think, you know, puts Glasner on the map a little bit more. People will understand him. The talking point is Liverpool, really. 
Yeah. People are going to talk about Liverpool, missed opportunity, mm. missing chances at the top end of the pitch, yeah. conceding goals now. I think that's nine straight home Premier League games they've conceded a goal, Rob. Mm. And, mm. and you talked about Man City having the ability to yeah. Score. shoot the way out, yeah, out of danger. Yeah. Liverpool... We thought could do that. Yeah, it, the front it's becoming less, isn't it? Or there's, there's a bit more doubt into that now. Mm. Wasn't a Darwin Nunez day. Nope. Wasn't a Mo Salah day. Nope. Luis Diaz buzzed mm, around, but didn't really. have, they have quality. J Jota, come on. Missed a chance. Missed a good, a good chance. And then from there, the midfield, midfield didn't control the game, and I thought they were yeah. new. You yeah. touched on that, didn't you? An yeah. area where they got three yeah, they got players, three. Liverpool against two of Palace. That's an area where they should dominate. Never really happened. Never did. I mean, again, a lot of it does go back to Palace. Yeah, you know, exactly. Uh, yeah. Um, but no, and, and there was a chaotic nature a little bit to Liverpool, and mm. we've seen that in the last couple of games. They allowed the Man United game to become end-to-end, -end, and they and they fell to a couple of goals. Uh, one mistake and one great goal from um, from Maynou. But again, it was a bit of a pair and scare and huff and puff, try and find a way through, and they nearly did. They nearly did. Yeah. I just, you know, <laughs> we got onto Arsenal, but it, their football is so, Liverpool's is so kind of fast, and... Yeah. Um, anything can happen and we'll find a way they yeah, often yeah, do yeah. find a way with yeah, the forward yeah. players that they've got but for some reason those front players have gone quiet and Mo Salah after coming off his, his recent injury, injury just doesn't seem to be as threatening or as dangerous maybe it's the players behind him and maybe mm. it's the you know the, the, the supply of balls which is lacking yeah. when you consider McAllister Endo I thought Endo struggled today yeah. you know, and he's been good and he's been good um, and Curtis Jones is back from an injury as well. He was he was yeah, picked he was up in for Zubber's line, line, wasn't yeah. he? But Kanate was there. Yeah. Allison's back in goal. It's only Trent Alexander Arnold that probably would be outside of the best eleven for Liverpool. Yeah. He came on yeah. and looked better. Liverpool yeah. were better in the second half, mm -hmm. much better, Jurgen Klopp said, but just couldn't score. They yeah. couldn't score yeah. at home against Crystal Palace, Robin. You know, at this point in the season, the, the, the last thing you need is your star players, your mm. difference makers, because yeah. let's face it, the front players in Liverpool have been what's really been, been appealing yeah, and, yeah. and, and effective you, you for them. Why they, they they, go and there, they've yeah. gone off a little bit. Um, six games left. They're going to have to win all the games from now on. Um, you made an interesting point on the broadcast, Rob, that you we were talking about it. I think he's got two more home games left in the Premier League, Jurgen Klopp. Mm. Don't know with Europe now, depending on what happens yeah. with Atalanta. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, we, we're, we're starting to close the, the book and close the chapter. And you talked about the fans and the role that they may have. And Armand mm. said, you know, you know, what could go wrong for Liverpool? What, what might not be right? And, and you said the fans will have a role yep. to play. And that they it didn't really happen it today. Didn't really happen. The, 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 the crowd quiet there was a little yeah. bit of a there was times in the game but uh, Robin it was like Palace had some possession and working it and listen Liverpool have seen that before they've been yeah. down against Barcelona and come yeah. back yeah it didn't it felt strange and it's difficult sometimes because you're in the studio you're not in the ground uh, you know so much better like Sir Stephen Warnock and Joe Spate our commentator there did a brilliant job on, on the game I thought but um just didn't feel well, like the, the Anfield that we've you know one one game, one loss in the last 58 at home or something. But, but, think back to the Sheffield United game. I think it took like the 75th yeah. minute oh, yeah, McAllister like comes in. Yeah, they, they struggled one a little bit. To, to yeah. Then the next home game after that is Atalanta. They got beat 3-0, Rob, on Thursday. They got beat 3-0 at Anfield. Yeah. And I'm just giving you reasons why yeah. the home fans might be like, oh, maybe, isn't that more maybe reason we ain't go quite good way, enough. Rob? Isn't that more... Well, well, you thought they'd have really pulled up, but yeah. maybe they've seen in the last couple of home maybe games, we ain't, maybe ain't that good. Maybe we, we're not. It's not quite right for us this year, and maybe this is going to be anti-climax for, for the manager. It ain't going to be what they all dreamed it would yeah. be for this yeah. great man yeah, who's yeah. going to be departing at the end of the season. I, I don't know because mm. at, at some point in that second half, um, I'm expecting Anfield to flipping get behind the team and roar yeah. them home, yeah. and yeah. I guess it, it nearly happened. Mm. You know the yeah, chances. You know everything in, we're saying it? about this, Rob. Yeah. If one because of them we goes do in, say we do talk about results, right? And it's nil one. Crystal Palace at home, but those chances. I mean, mm. another day. I mean, what Jurgen Klopp and they have created incredible opportunities that they didn't take. So and, and, and it's it, again, stats can be done however you want. There's some stat out there, Rob, that says Liverpool's shots at goal or shots in games. They've scored, they've scored three more goals in Newcastle. We're taking 200 more shots, which is a trend. Do you know what, mate? I'll be honest here. Stats starting to annoy me. <laughs> I'm getting fed up with stats. Well, well, I just what, am. What, well, what, 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 what? I'm just getting fed up with stats. 
Yeah, but if 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 his stats is is, is I don't care about stats anymore. So the, I'm fed up with them. So today, no, it's but so today, hard to 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 to, cor to correlate stats with particular games. Every game's so different. Of course it is. So today's game would back up the stat that for the amount of chances Liverpool have, they're not scoring enough goals. Is the point right. that the stat right. is, is making? All right. And today, the amount of chances that Liverpool have. But they, they should, they, but they we should have, about, they should we have been three. We talk about the goal scores that they've got. So, so, so are we back on erratic finishers? No, I'm just Salah's saying... Salah's not an erratic no, I, finisher. I, I, Salah's a great finisher. Yeah, but Jota's a great finisher. I'm trying I know to say, despite the goals that they've got, they're still they're having a lot, lot of more chances to get, to get those, those goals. goals. So today would be an extreme but, example of... Correct. Actually, you've had one of those and you didn't get your But another stat, I mean, they're still goals. The goals scored are right up there. They're like three or four behind. I don't know. I mean, I think game of football, Rob, is so individual. And I know... I don't know. Any game of football, the ball can bounce a different way. It can spin off a of post and spin around yeah, the corner yeah. and come off two bars and all this. There's so much. There's so much variables in football that is that stats to apply stats over a, even a 38 game period. It's, it's I don't know. I, I think at this point, I I, I I think fans worry about the, the teams winning, winning the game. I don't care about who scores the goal. Man City had their own goal to start with. They go on and, and dominate. Um, and Liverpool, we don't we think Liverpool, their attack is the strongest part of their, their yeah, game? Yeah, but today, they lost the game because they didn't take their chances. That's the, that's the story of the game. It is the story of the game, yeah. Liverpool had the chances to win the game and they didn't take them. Mm. Mm. I, it was just, uh, well, it is, you know, the, the whole Jurgen Klopp coming to an end thing, it's just astonishing to me that, that, we, that basically nobody knows. What a week they've got coming up, by the way. Well, they had a terrible... Atalanta, a terrible Atalanta week. On, on Thursday, away. Wolverhampton we'll Wanderers yeah. away at the weekend. Yeah. Need to... Well, whatever happens in on, on, yeah. on, on, I mean, on, on are Thursday... Are they going to go for it now, Rob, on Thursday? Would you think... If they'd have won the game today, right, and they're sat in a really yeah. nice spot yeah. joint top I, of the league I table... I think they have to, Rob. I, th I think they now have to. Now they have to go to more if they had won. So more losing so. that game, like, you know, well, we might we might be out the yeah, well, not you, out the race, but we might find it difficult. To win the We want this. We want this trophy... We want to we want to do our, the best we can to get yeah. that trophy. Play, and if that doesn't that team. doesn't work, play the best team, then you go to Wolves and you deal with that after. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.